This is Adam J. Brown. Welcome to my case, A Cat in Wolf's Clothing. This is a case of a 65-year-old Caucasian male with a history of aortic valve replacement presenting with some pretty B-type symptoms, fatigue and night sweats. Workup found to have severe anemia and pancytopenia. Workup found a positive ANA, high titer, 1 to 1,280, positive chrominin, positive RMP, low complement. Hey, this is looking a lot like lupus. Blood in the urine and protein in the urine, probably lupus. Bone marrow biopsy is done by hematology. Just shows hypercellular, no evidence of malignancy. Ultrasound of his spleen, splenomegaly, and splenic infarcts. Why is there splenic infarcts? Maybe some antiphospholipid on top of the lupus? So he gets a renal biopsy to clear up the picture and it does not clear up the picture. It shows posse immune glomerulonephritis more consistent with ankyvasculitis. That's odd. His labs consistent with, uh, with lupus, but he has a uh, uh, um, renal pathology consistent with ankyvasculitis. What's going on? Whenever we see this discordance, lupus labs, anka path, we think of drug induced or we think of infection, infection, infection. Blood culture is negative times three in this patient. His echocardiogram was done because of the splenic infarcts. It just shows some valvular thickening of the aorta. We're like, hey, well, this doesn't look like a big fat vegetation. What's going on? So we talked to a renal pathologist, like, oh, it's probably Bartonella. And we're like, Bartonella, what? What are you talking about? Where, where did that come from? They're like, well, whenever there's discordance, we think of endocarditis, and this patient is culture negative, probably Bartonella. Talk to the patient, hey, do you have a cat? Yeah, I have a cat. And we're like, a lot of people have cats. How, how, how diagnostic is that? So we get ID on board, ID sees them, like, this is Bartonella. Like, what, what, what am I missing here? So uh, uh, we get titers, sky high titers for Bartonella, and the patient's true with IV antibiotics and uh, valve replacement and did fantastic. So lesson learned here, uh, culture negative endocarditis, you think you're doing the workup with, with uh, uh, blood cultures and echocardiogram, but the echocardiogram, especially with Bartonella, can be very, very subtle as it was in this patient. So I learned a lot, and remember, always work with people who are smarter than you. It makes a big difference.